Welcome to the next tutorial of this course, Tab Due Dates. And in this tutorial, we will going to talk about the date initiation or baseline function. So whenever we have a need, when we have to identify what will be the start date of the quarter or the start date of the year based on any date that is being given. So for example, we are right now on the 23rd of September and that is basically from the calendar year perspective is the third quarter and I want to know that based on any given date what is the start date of the quarter then these functions like the date initiation or the baseline as per my understanding that's the name I have given that it initiates the dates or it find the first date or the baseline date for that particular date which we want which we are giving so what I mean by that is over here, if you see, we have the date trunk function, which is nothing but truncate date and you provide the date part like quarter or month, then the date, it can be any date like a static date or the date field in which multiple dates are present. And then optionally, you can have the start of the week. And what it does is it truncates the date based on the date part specified. So date part is nothing but the quarter or the month. So for example, in this case, 15th August 2004, uh, what you will going to get is the 1st of July 2004 because that's the date of the quarter or the first date of the quarter. Similarly, if it is month that 15th April 2004 and we are looking at the month, then the month will be the 1st April 2004. And this is especially helpful in those scenario when you have to basically do some sort of a calculation between the start of the date, like the quarter to date, quarter to month, year to date, year to month, those sort of uh, calculations when we have to do this, these, this function can become really hand handy. And uh, there may be other scenarios in which you may want to use these type this this function which helps us look at what is the first day based on the dynamic date that we have within the data set and then do the relevant calculation. So let's go into the tableau and just try to specify these and get the dates as per the date part we were going to specify. All right, so what I have over here is the order date from the sample super store data set and it comes with the tableau. So now what I need is to create a calculated field and uh, let's call it quarter start date. And for that, we will use the date trunk date part. We will provide the quarter and after that we will so over here also you get the definition and then you will provide the date which is nothing but the order date. So once we click on apply and OK, so we got the quarter star date which I can bring it over here and I will change this to a particular day. Uh, it will try to convert it into a continuous as you can see the color is changed of this bill. But what I'll do is make it discrete so that way for each of this date, if you see, the quarter date is changed to 1st Jan. But as we moved on to the April 1st, the quarter date is changed to the April 1st. So now, based on this, you can utilize previously discussed functions like the date range functions that we discussed, uh, which is helpful in doing the calculation between these two dates. And based on those calculation output, if there is another calculation that you may want to do, for example, on a prorater basis, finding the salary, right, can be one of the calculation that you may want to do. Or on a prorater basis, you may want to find the bonus, like how many days a person has spent the days in the company and now the person is moving out. So you may want to calculate that. Can be one scenario, but hundreds of scenarios that can be done with the help of the the date trunk function so if i just go inside here instead of quarter you can have year you can have month and in the previous video or uh, the topic i discussed previous to this video i have shown you the various date part which is present on the tableau help website there you can look at what are all the options that is available and i'll put the link over here as well so that you can directly go over there so that's about how you can initiate or baseline the date based on any given date 
based on and uh, relevant to the date part that is quarter year month day whatever you want to specify you can specify that so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next topic which is date conversion function